Okay, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my Ibis paint open, ready to do some stuff. I'm go Today I'm going to be showing you how to do something like this. I'm just going to use different colors probably. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. We're going to import a photo. Now I've already taken the screenshot, but um, yeah. What you're going to do, no, no exact line filter unless you want to, but it's not recommended because I tried it with that and just straight up failed. What you're going to do is you're going to take whatever character you want to do this with and you're going to turn them all white except for the outline which needs to be pitch black. Prism's eye isn't um, perfect for this, so I'm just going to fix that real quick. But first things first, we're going to switch it to this dark um, background. Then just remove this and start removing the rest of everything, okay? You want to make sure there's no colors. That sounds sad, but it's true. There's another way that I used to do this, which took a lot longer, but this is my new way because I wanted to perfect the technique before I showed you how to do that. this, if that makes sense. I wanted to make sure that it's an enjoyable experience, I suppose. I don't fucking know. I just wanted to make sure that it's an easy and quick way to do it before I showed you guys because I f before the first way I did this was actually from a tutorial. <laughs> but then I had this idea to do it, which would be easier, and was like, oh, holy shit, it does work. <laughs> so, because I didn't want to make a tutorial just, which is basically someone else's tutorial. <laughs> it would be terrible. Now it's okay if the removing of the color isn't perfect, um, because, like, it doesn't have okay, it 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 doesn't have to be perfect, okay. <laughs> but make sure at least you get everywhere covered, and try to be thorough with it. Otherwise, it just won't look as good if you accidentally just completely <laughs> remove the outline. Then that's fine. Just undo it. Like, I think that was self-explanatory, but, you know, some, some people don't really understand that. Okay, so, now to the other side, and I'm going to pause this right here and come back when I'm finished. Okay, and we're back. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, I don't know, thought it wasn't working. Anyways, we're back, and as you can see, I just finished. It's not perfect. It could be better... Also, sorry if you can hear my fan or my dog or something in the background, <laughs> or anything else really. Um, sorry, I don't really know what my what the, my microphone is picking up on. Anyways, um, so when we have this shape or whatever it is, you might, you're gonna take white. Okay. You're gonna put this brush max. I would recommend using digital pen because it won't take as long. Select opacity. Make the whole thing white. All right, now remove selection area. Go to filter. I just you're gonna default to the all 66. Click style and go, not stroke. Sorry, glow outer. Okay, we're gonna turn the radius down because we don't want that. So we're just gonna turn this to however much you like. Um, I generally like to go about 10 or 15. Sometimes 20. 20 is kind of a lot though, so I'm just gonna go back to 10. For radius, I mean. And then you can just pick whatever color you want. I'm gonna change the color to. Um. I mean, I could do gold like I normally do. Um. I'll just do this nice shade of teal. So, there. Okay, actually I have another thing I want to show because I'm just going to remake the one I originally had. So we're going to use this amazing, amazing dark blue. Alright, now you may notice it looks slightly different from the one that I have as the example. What we're going to add now is a drop shadow. If you use a dark color, I recommend doing it. Just do the default settings and there you go. Here we have it. <laughs> so I um, I now have two basically identical ones. I'm probably going to change the color of this one. <laughs> but yeah, 
that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you can figure out how to do this, because it's actually kind of fun, not gonna lie. Um, and if you're wondering what the other method was, which is how I did some of my earlier ones like this, it's how I did this one, it's also how I did my Dream and Nightmare one, but I did that on my Chromebook, so I don't have it here today. Um, so I can't really show you. But that is how I did it over there, which sucked. And it's a lot easier on a phone than a Chromebook, so I recommend that to you. Um, and if you're wondering about the background, I can show you how to do a background. Okay, that's showing information. I don't want that. Um, I'll just, real quick. So, we I don't know what of these it's in, so just keep going until you would find the outer glow and drop shadow and you just go to whatever one of these you want the gradation ones i'm just gonna do a small pink and blue gradient i guess <laughs> edit this a bit well there we go so just blue violet yeah sure that'll do Look at it! Beautiful! <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today's video. Um, once again, I hope you enjoyed, and have a nice day! Bye! What the fuck was that bye? Okay, my voice cracked. I am so sorry. <laughs> have a nice day! Bye!